Hi, I'd like to take a few minutes to show off this new feature that we have in Firefox 16, which will be entering beta about the time that you see this. It's a, it's called the Developer Toolbar. And you press Shift F2 to bring it up. Uh, and there are a lot of interesting things about the Developer Toolbar. It's a very handy way to get to your tools. Plus, it'll show you the errors that come up uh, on the page if there are errors. Uh, it gives you a little error indicator next to the web console there. But what I really want to focus on today is this command line. Now, this is not a command line for uh, JavaScript. You don't run JavaScript here. This is a command line for running commands that control your tools. It's a great way to do things with the keyboard. There are a bunch of different commands here for controlling your tools, like dbg to control the debugger, edit for uh, editing style sheets. Uh, let me show you the console command. Every command has help, which is handy. Uh, many commands have subcommands that let you get a, a variety of things done. So in this example, uh, I will open the web console. So now we can see what's inside the console here. Um, now there's a keyboard shortcut for that, but of course it's hard to remember all those keyboard shortcuts uh, and you really have to twist your fingers up to do it. But in this case I have a command line that has completion and everything. So I can do console clear uh, and it will clear the console for me uh, when I want to see fresh output uh, and I can use console close when I'm done. So that's uh, that's a really handy way uh, to, to kind of fire, fire up one feature or another. Um, let's take a look at the inspect feature. Now really, when you're working with a page, you often know things about your page. Um, I know that there's an element called home-news on this page, and I know that the heading under there is called is, a, is an H3. So by saying inspect and giving it that CSS selector, uh, I can actually go directly to that without using my mouse. Now this is a responsive design. Uh, I can see that my font size right now is 28 pixels. What if I want to see how this responds uh, to being on a phone? Well, I can bring up the responsive design view, uh, and I'll just say resize to 320 by 480, uh, which is about the size that's reported by a lot of mobile phones. OK, so now I see that I've got a single column kind of view, and a media query has taken effect here. So now the font size has dropped to 24px thanks to that media, media query. So that's pretty cool, and it gives me a chance to see, you know, what would this look like if it was 22 pixels? You know, I could do things like that. Um, and I can, there's actually a command to turn off the responsive design view, or you just press escape, uh, which is easier in this particular case. Here's another command that doesn't have a parallel in our existing developer tools, a cookie list command. So that lists all the cookies that I have on the page. Um, one of the interesting things here is that this command actually gives me mouseable options. I can type cookie remove WTFPC, or I can just click that right there, and it will populate the command line with that command for me. Uh, here's another feature that, that's new. If I, if I say inspect h1, I know that there's one heading on this page, one h1 heading. What if I want to take a screenshot of just that part of the page and send it to somebody? I can use the screenshot command, say heading.ping is the name I want. Now I could actually just hit enter, and what it'll do, it'll take a picture of what I've got in my window here. But instead, I'm going to say zero delay. Um, I don't want to do a full page, I just want to do this one item, which you can see on the screen. And I'm going to say h1, because rather than being on the body, I just want to get that h1. So I do that, and it has saved to my downloads directory. So looking there, I can see I now have a heading.ping that was just created, uh, and it's that heading that's right there on the page. So it's a super quick way to take screenshots, and it's great you can take screenshots of more than just the visible area um, without going to any hassles. Here's another new command, um, the page mod command. It lets you um, do a bunch of different manipulations to the page just just from uh, just from the command line here. So I'll show off the simplest possible thing here. Um, whoops, got the typo. Uh, you can see also my command my command got an underline and everything. It helps me when I make mistakes. So I want to replace that in the news text there. What would it, how would it look if I said news for you instead? Let's find out. Okay, so that's how it looks when I say news for you. That's a very simple replacement. You can do other cool things like page mod remove iframe is fun on many sites. Take, try that one out. Uh, if you want to get into browser development, this is a cool one to do. Um, pref set. So with the pref set command, you can set all kinds of hidden preferences that Firefox has. Um, so I'm going to do pref set devtools.chrome.enabled. Um, whoops, I want to set that to true. And what this is going to let me do is it's going to let me manipulate the browser itself. Um, now this doesn't really take effect until restart, so I'm going to go ahead and restart, which is another command here. Restart the browser now. Okay, so the browser is, is restarted now. Uh, and if I go to Scratchpad, the Scratchpad tool, 
we can see the effect of the change I just made. There's an environment menu, and I can select browser. And that allows me to run JavaScript code that executes a, not just not in the context of this browser tab, but actually in the context of the whole browser, which means that I could write add-ons and things like that right here in Scratchpad. Very cool feature. And one thing, speaking, speaking about add-ons, um, one thing that is also very cool uh, about the whole command line idea is that it's a very scalable kind of user interface. Um, so you can actually write add-ons that add commands. So let me give you an example of one. I'll say add-on enable firebug, which I had installed but disabled. So it's now enabled, and if I type help, you can see there's now a firebug command. Uh, and that lets me do things like open firebug. So there is firebug. I can say firebug detach. Uh, and is now in a separate window. That's pretty handy. Um, if I want to bring it back in, I can just do firebug attach again uh, and firebug close when I'm done. So it's great to see that kind of integration. You can easily make add-ons that add your own commands, uh, and I hope that we'll soon see a lot of add-ons. Thanks for watching.